Chuck, thank you. Our time 431. You know, the closure of northbound I-65 and the detour through Boone County is creating growing frustrations there for the sheriff. Yesterday's fatal crash along the detour route is sending emotions over the top. Sunrise reporter Carrie Klein is in studio this morning with that what the sheriff is demanding and why. Carrie? Yeah, good morning, Julia. This is the second deadly accident along this detour, and Boone County Sheriff Mike Nielsen is just plain mad. Now, he is demanding help to better control the traffic along US 52, especially now that it's a major detour route. He's been asking NDOT to install a stoplight along US 52 and State Route 47 for a while. He says now that they've turned this highway into basically an interstate, things are even more dangerous. He says yesterday's deadly accident not far from that intersection is a direct result of the detour, and he believes a light at the intersection could have made a difference. He has now taken his frustrations to Facebook, saying, I interact with people on a daily basis that work with NDOT that totally agree a traffic light needs to be installed at US 52 and State Route 47. However, as I continue to speak with NDOT management, plead with them that this needs to be done ASAP, give NDOT crash data, they continue to stall. Now, state police agree something needs to be done. Mostly right now for the speed. Uh, we're catching cars out here running 70, 80, 90 mile an hour in a, in a 60 zone. Uh, improper passing, they're passing in double yellow. Um, some are even passing through the ditch coming up out of the grass. We've had that. Now, Sheriff Nielsen says the heartache involved in having to do a death notification to a husband at his office and then a teenage daughter at school with her friends creates a heartache no one can imagine. He says putting a traffic light in there at 5247 intersection is the right thing to do for the right reason at the right time. And he is encouraging citizens to join him in this fight. Julia, we did reach out to WinDOT about the sheriff's comments, but so far we have not received a response. All right, hopefully we can get some action there, mm -hmm. Carrie.